Blog Talk Radio. How are you doing? This is Jimmy Pax, and you're listening to the incomparable Lena Jones on the Lena Jones Morning Sparkle. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome Tuesday. How was your Monday? I hope you got off to a good start. And things worked out for you when you got to work. And things worked out for you when you came home and, and all of that good stuff. And now it's Tuesday. So we got one day down and four more days to go. So I'm going to be here with you from Tuesday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. for an hour at least. We get to socialize with each other for an hour. Hopefully all is well. Um, as far as me, I got my cup of tea this morning and uh, I can't wait to go and have me a English muffin. I'm going to have an English muffin this morning. You know, there's just some things you can't imitate. Like some things you can probably buy off the knockoff. You can buy the knockoff to and get the store brand or something like that. But a Thomas English muffin? You can't beat that. <laughs> you just can't imitate it. It's nothing like the taste of a Thomas. Believe me, I've tried. I've got some things that came close, but never anything like the original Thomas. So I'm looking forward to having me a Thomas's where I'm playing some music for you this morning. I think our president has a State of the Union address tonight. That would be interesting. If it's not, whenever it is, sometime this week, I'm going to check into it. And um, definitely got to hear that. Do you think he's going to say something foolish? I think he can't help it because he thinks talking foolish makes him look big. So, well, you know, I was listening to the radio the other day. And they were talking about Nero, <clears throat> the emperor. Nero and saying Nero, Nero. And some things about him, how uh, the people around him were scared. It kind of reminds me of the Republican Party when it comes to Trump. So I'm going to do some looking into that, see if I can see some things. They had some good comparisons. You know, some of the comparisons didn't match, but there were some good comparisons there. If you know anything about the history of Nero, definitely look that up. Check that out. So, well... I'm going to go ahead and get my day started with my prayer. And, of course, uh, my prayer is about having a good attitude. And sometimes it's hard for us to do with our circumstances, be it at work with our children, with our relationships, with our neighbors. (laughs) Sometimes keeping, keeping a good attitude is not an easy thing to do. It's not easy at all. I know. I try to come in the studio. In a pos- on a positive note, even though everything around me may be crushing. <laughs> Not all the time, but <laughs> it happens. And uh, so it's hard to keep a good attitude. When you look at your bank account and someone else's bank account is doing well, it's hard to keep a good attitude. When someone else is working out, their relationship is working out fine, and they're just sickening to be around, and you're crap hard to keep a good attitude. <laughs> when someone else is succeeding in their business and you're not, it's hard to keep a good attitude. So today's prayer is about having a good attitude. And this is taken from John 16.3. John 16.3 says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So if you trust in Jesus and you overcome that bad attitude, even though it may still be there, try to open it. It's my prayer. Lord, I lift you up. You, Lord, I lift up to you my attitude at work. As I go about my day, May I have a positive outlook and a helpful spirit. Help me to be encouraging and supportive to others amid the activity. And sometimes the chaos 
May my heart be at peace as the Holy Spirit strengthens and empowers me. But the Lord of my emotions, be, be the Lord of my emotions as I seek to serve you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, that was uh, a good attitude, John 16, 3. You can check it out, the verse itself. May it help us during the day with our attitudes at work. We remain positive even in the chaos, in the negativity. Stay away from the gossip, people. Stay away from that because the next thing you know, they'll be gossiping about you. They probably are already, and you don't know. They're probably doing it. Well, you don't know um, where you're with them cotton gossiping about other people. Just be be aware of people that talk about other people because when they talk about other people, think, hmm, if they're saying this about that person, what are they saying when they're with that person about me? Just something to think about. We're going to start off with some Lord Anthony. And uh, Lord, I trust you. I'm nervous today.
may be the hardest thing for me to do, but I Keep us so. When I look into the face. 